Hello! Welcome to a tutorial for how to build a redstone die roll thing. It... you... you click it, and you roll a dice. So how it works is when you press the button, this pink line illuminates. This is a reset line for these memory circuits, and it also triggers the dispenser down here. This dispenser is triggered, and a shulker box is brought out with a certain number of wooden swords. Depending on the number of swords, the comparator reads a different signal strength. And in this white decoder line, it triggers one of these six colored lines. The signal from the dispenser also triggers a short delay circuit, which then breaks the shulker box and puts it back into the dispenser through this hopper. From the signal strength decoder, we go into the colored number lines. The purple is the one, as it only illuminates the central lamp. Blue is two, it illuminates the bottom right and the top left. Each of these is programmed for one of the numbers. The black line that triggers the lamp goes through this blue memory circuit. This keeps the lamp illuminated until the button is pressed again. That's how it works. The whole device takes up a space of 27 by 23 and 14 tall. And here's what you need to build it. So to get started, pick where you want your lamps. Start by building up a 3x3. Three three, and know that all the redstone is going to go underneath and off to one side. Underneath the lamps, draw an H with your building blocks. These are the only lamps that will be illuminated. Next, underneath the building blocks, with a space in between, build another H out of target blocks and then place a redstone torch on top of each target block. Next, we're going to build the first circuit, done here in brown wool. This is what allows us to target each individual lamp so that we can display the right numbers. Make sure you're building out in the direction that you want your redstone to go, and start with the center block with three blocks, and two repeaters, and a dust. Next, on either side, you'll want to go out and around, like this, and the same on the other side, followed by three dust on each. Don't do that. To reach these middle lights, come out three blocks, and then turn. Finally, to reach the last lamps, go along here, plus two, and back out. And then use three repeaters so that the redstone dust doesn't connect. For the last part of the brown circuit, we need to come down one and over and remove that and place a redstone torch underneath. Do that for each of the lines. Continuing to work backwards from the brown, this is a memory cell from Matt Batwings that allows us to have a number displayed continuously until the button is reclicked. To build the memory cell, start from under the last brown block. Build out three. And then up one, and then up with the space. Place torches on the side, a dust, another dust, and a repeater. Then on the back side, come down one with a slab, place a dust, come down again with a block, three more underneath dust, dust, and a repeater. Once you've repeated that for each of the rows, you're ready to do the first part of the pink line, which is the reset. Start by placing a wool or block over top of the redstone dust, building out the line, and placing a redstone torch at each point along the way.
and one at the end. Next, put redstone dust along the top of the line, and at the end, go up and over one, and add a redstone torch. Next, you need to connect this line to your button. Keep in mind that the button can be located anywhere, you just need to connect it to this line. The next section is very simple. Just add a block behind this repeater, followed by 11 blocks. Redstone dust on the top. Repeat that for each of the lines. Next, we're going to be using these six lines to program the six numbers as they appear on the die. We'll start at the very beginning here with the number 6. Come down and leave a space, and then come down one more, and build a line across to the very end. At each point where you want a lamp to be illuminated, place a block. Because the 6 illuminates all three lamps along each side, you want three blocks there, and three blocks there, with no block for the center lamp. Then, starting from this end, Use repeaters to send a signal through the block with redstone dust and repeater every time there is another block after this one, ending with a redstone dust. Then put a redstone torch on each of these six blocks. And finally, come down one more and add another torch. All these should turn off leaving you with the number 6. Build out the other 5 lines, and then come through and put in the wool blocks where you need the lamps to be illuminated. If orange is going to be number 5, then you need it to be illuminating the center lamp, as well as the top left corner, the bottom left corner, the bottom right corner, and the top right corner torch on each. Redstone dust with repeaters along the way. To test that you've got it correct, just go up and press the button. For the number four, You'll need the same corners as the 5, but not the center lamp. For the 3, you need one of the top right corners, the central lamp, and then the opposite bottom left corner. You won't need the rest of these. For the 2, you can use the same corner as the 3, or you can flip it and use the opposite two corners, such as the bottom right and the top left. And finally for the 1, you only need to illuminate the middle lamp. Make sure you complete each of the rows with one more torch at the beginning. All of the torches here should be off, the redstone lines should be illuminated, and when you press the reset button, no lamps turn on. Next we're doing the white circuit, which is the decoder. Start under each of these blocks with a block and a repeater. Then go two more spaces and put a target block. Around the target block, on the three corners, you'll need blocks. Place a torch on each of these, a repeater on top of the target block, and dust on these two. Now you'll repeat this pattern 
for all six numbers. Note that the first target block for the first line shouldn't have a repeater on it. Make sure the redstone dust goes along the entire top and bottom row. To complete the decoder circuit, we need to come out with one block and a repeater into another block, two more, and then a slab, and two more blocks. Then put redstone dust on top of all of this. And on this side, come down with one more block of redstone dust. Now add a couple temporary blocks, place a dispenser facing up, remove the temporary blocks, place a hopper going into the dispenser, and a comparator on top of the hopper. Next, place two temporary blocks with a sticky piston on top and another block in front. To minimize the chance that you'll lose a shulker box, conceal these with blocks. Now we just needed a delay circuit for the sticky piston to break the shulker box. Come out from this side with three blocks, comparator into a four tick repeater, and then wrap the redstone signal around to the piston. Now the last building step is to connect the pink line that's triggered by the button to the dispenser. Final step is to prepare the shulker boxes. In one shulker box, you'll need one non-stackable item such as a wooden sword. In the next one, you'll need five. In the next one, you'll need nine. And then 13, 17, and 21. Place the shulker boxes in the dispenser, and you're done. With this design, since all the redstone is on one side, you can mirror it in order to have two dice displaying side by side. You can even have them sharing a button, as long as the one button leads to both reset lines. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I look forward to seeing more games built in Minecraft.